All right, so welcome to day 11. We're gonna continue on with the build. And in this video, I wanna try to start implementing this what you see is what you get editor. And um, this, uh, like, there was uh, an editor called uh, Tricks that the people at Basecamp developed, and it's basically this one. And uh, as we all know, Basecamp makes, um, makes Rails. And while there are other types of these, what you see is what you get editor, Wizik, I think you pronounce it, um, in the market, I think this is the most simple one I found and also one that has been baked into Rails as action text. Uh, so we're gonna look at what that is. So action text is just tricks, but that's baked into Rails in a, in a gem form. So uh, that's what we're going to use because, hey, it's easy because if you look at other, what you see is what you get editor. Uh, what you see is what you get editors. Uh, and then editor. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of um, ones you can use. I think TinyMC is a pretty pretty well-known one. I mean, this looks pretty nice. It basically looks like, yeah, this looks pretty nice. Um, and this one looks, I think, pretty good as well. Uh, this one looks, I don't see an example for it, but you get what I mean. Like it's, and rather than integrating something that's not part of Rails, I mean, I think life would be easier if we just use action text. So that's what we're going to use. So it says Rails act to install it. Okay, so tricks compared to other rich text editors. Uh, most WYSIG editors are wrappers around HTML's co content editable and exec command APIs designed by Microsoft, blah, 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 blah. Eventually reversed because these APIs were never fully specified or documented because uh, Norbins and Scope, each browser's implementation has its own set of bugs and quirks and JavaScript developers are left to resolve the inconsistencies. Trick size steps these inconsistencies by treating the content editable as an IO device, which makes when makes input when input makes its way to the editor, editor tricks converts that, in, that input into an editing operation on its internal document model and then re-renders the document into back into the editor. Regardless, this is what we're gonna use uh, because this is what is built into Rails and I think it's the easiest way to get up and running. Um, so what we'll do, I, do is we'll run bundle exec rails action text install and it looks like it creates a migration files because if we look at our database schema we don't have any action text stuff in it so I'll let it override it and see what the differences are. Mm, it looks like an image. Okay, so image process processing got uncommented. We're importing that. We're importing action text in Tailwind CSS. We're importing tricks, all that stuff. And we're also pinning action text. Okay, we got rid of, okay, so basically our spec was overwrite, overwritten. So what we'll do is take a look at the diff and then just inspect rails and then just um, add it back in. So to add it back in, we'll just Open up tiny cell and go to spec Rails helper and then just copy and paste this. All right, gonna have to.
call it set thing up action text because that's what we want to accomplish in this video and I, if you look at these migration files I guess it just sets up action text so we'll run the migration oh, okay so we have to bundle install the image processing gem and then run the migration and it looks like uh, all we have to do is add has rich text content and so I'm going to open up the product model I'm going to have to say add has rich text content but I, I don't want to make it content I want to call it uh, description this is not really content content is um the actual file that the that the purchasers will be downloading and okay so we can do it this way or this is um when you generate the model all right so then use the rich text area to refer to this field in the form for the model so i guess in here in our edit form what we can do is we'll open up the app view products edit and right below the name i want to copy this and i want to say um form label we'll call this description and instead of the text field we'll say f rich text area description and we'll just get rid of that and and see what this looks like except our server isn't running run it and you can see that everything looks pretty good i kind of like the way this looks although this kind of wondering if tricks text or action text themes i wonder if there are themes available that'd be kind of cool actually you know what? we'll just continue with it uh so now I'm going to permit the description in the controller. This option in the controller and Mm, rendering rich content inside the tricks content class the elements with this class okay rendering attachments in addition to attachments uploaded through active storage kind of curious so when you install Ah, okay, so when we installed action text, we also installed active storage, which is fine. Um, I think this is basically it. So if I do, I don't know, this is a new description. And we click save changes it does indeed save 
and I guess in our Rails console and we get the product product that find by slug and we say Airbnb clone 2 and we say product dot description we get the action text and then if I do 2s we get this div and I guess if we do content, it's not content, if we do um, body, okay. Okay, I got it. I get it. I'm wondering. If an action text you can just get the text. Just that I, I mean, I don't need to know it right now, but it'd be kind of cool to know. I'll figure that out later. Now, the next thing I want to figure out is if it's easy to attach images to it. So for example, if I go to my desktop and I paste in this over here, and I click save images, what happens? Save, and it looks like the image loads. Yeah, you know what, this, this is why I really like Rails and I've never switched into a different framework because stuff like this, you know, if, if you were doing this in like React or, granted, I don't know, I don't really know much about Laravel um, or any other frameworks, but I imagine my bet is that it's not as easy as Rails. Um, so this is why I think this Ruby on Rails is still the best framework ever made, because <laughs> at least for getting things up and running, it's I, I don't think it, I don't think nothing tops it. Um, so one thing we do have to do is for action uh, active storage. Uh, I mean, we don't have to do it now. We'll have to do it later when, if we ever well when we finish this app and we deploy it. But we do have to. set maybe, maybe like an S3 bucket and um, yeah we'll have to set up an S3 bucket so that at least on production it gets stored to to a bucket but anyways um, I thought I thought that this video would be a little bit more complicated because I've never done WYSIX editors before using using action text, but this made it super simple. So uh, I'm gonna end the video here because I think we <laughs> I mean, this was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, and we're gonna continue on. And I guess we'll just continue on adding some attributes, and then we'll get to maybe like the content, or maybe we'll just get to. Now we'll, we'll, we'll play around with adding some additional attributes to the product first. All right, so if you enjoy these videos, let me know uh, and uh, stay tuned for the next ones. Thanks for watching.